Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will discuss about pollination, different types of pollination and I will give you a brief information on that. First of all, what is pollination? Pollination means transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma. This process is called pollination. Before moving forward, we will see and the lateral part of a flowering structure. This will clear you the process of transfer and other aspects of a flower. This is the complete stamen. It consists of anther and anther has all the pollen grains on it. This is a stigma, the female reproductive part of a flower. The pollen is transferred from anther to stigma from there it grows into the ovary and creates egg cells. But this complete process is called pollination. Now we will see different types of pollination. In terms of pollination we can divide pollination into three types. First of is autogamy which is also called self-pollination. The second one is divided into xenogamy or it is also called allogamy or cross-pollination. The third one is called jetnogamy. Now I will describe all the three different types of pollination in details in the coming slides. So first way is autogamy that is self pollination, second gamy is allogamy, xenogamy or cross pollination and third one is, is ethnogamy. So we have three different modes of pollination. In the first process of self pollination, in this process the pollen from the anther the pollen from the anther falls on the stigma of the same flower. This is self pollination or autogamy. The pollens fall in the same stigma. It is not moved out outside. It doesn't fall in any other flower or the flower of same type. So this type of uh, pollination is called autogamy pollination. The common example is peas. We are example of pea. We are example of rice, wheat, these all plants undergo this type of self pollination. This is one, small, uh, one, uh, one more terminology called pestnogamy. These, these are typical type of flowers where they are mandatorily and don't open, they are compulsorily self pollinated uh, uh, flowers. Like uh, the structure of the flower is made such a way that the self pollination is only possible. So the common example um, we will get in oats and we have examples of barley. These are common examples of listogamous flower where the self pollination is compulsorily done. Here you see the example of uh, a pea flower where you can see uh, the, the pollen from the anther is uh, uh, falling on the stigma. This is a stigma. So this is a, a good example of self pollination. Now second is example of cross pollination or we also call allogamy or uh, xenogamy where the pollen from one flower falls to the uh, stigma of another flower of another plant. So this is a cross movement is taking place. The uh, pollen from, from this anther is uh, falling down in the stigma of the, this second parent. So this is a cross movement technique. A typical example for this uh, is the date palm. Date palm. Uh, we have uh, maize. Uh, we also have papaya. Etc. are common example of uh, cross pollination. And here uh, we, we also find there are different modes which transmit this pollen to different flowers. 
that we'll discuss in further discussions like uh, how the uh, movement of uh, who are the agents who are involved in moving pollen from one flower to another flower uh, so this is a, a typical example of uh, cross pollination in uh, plant the third situation is uh, jetnogamy pollination in this type of pollination we see normally found in cucurbitaceae cucurbitaceae family and in maize also we find in this type of situation uh, the pollen from the flower falls uh, uh, on the stigmas of another flower of the same plant like pollen from a will um, say a will fall on the uh, flowers of the same plant uh, but a different flower and uh, that like uh, anther a pollen from this a plant a flower will fall on uh, say uh, b flower stigma but that happens in same one single plant same plant that's a class of it like in case of cucurbitaceae and uh, in case of say maize we have this type of situation uh, seen in this type of uh, plants now we can discuss about uh, different agents who are responsible for pollination like we can divide into two categories abiotic uh, agents and biotic agents now abiotic agents consist of wind water uh, these are the means by which uh, the transfer of pollen takes place from one plant to another or different or within the plants also or within the same flower also so uh, the two the major uh, two we are wind and water in the biotic uh, we have like uh, insects like honey bee we have then we have moth or say wasp they help in transferring the pollen from one flower to another then we have birds like hummingbird sunbird hummingbird we have sunbird we have bat we have reptiles ex like snake also lizards and mammals also like rodents rats etc these are two major uh, agents who are involved in different modes of transferring pollen from one plant to another so this where we discuss about different types of uh, pollination and agents involved in uh, transferring um, the pollen from one flower to another flower with some simple examples to remember the next uh, session we will discuss more about this pollination and different modes and different type of uh, um, adaptations uh, so that the pollen is transferred to another uh, flower thank you